This multi-base bead frame, like all of the other bead frames, is to show the work that happens. It is not an abacus. An abacus is used to record after mental math has been done. This bead frame allows the children to count one in base five, two in base five, three in base five, four in base five. Whoops, if I have five, I need to exchange. So I now have one, zero, base five. So the child is allowed to count up to five and exchange to the next place value. This is one, zero, zero, base five. So, let's say we want to work in base 16. This represents base 16. So there will be 16, or a count of 16, before the child exchanges to the next hierarchy. This is 1, 0, base 16, which equals 16 in base 10. This would be 2, 0, base 16, which equals 32 in base 10. Let's say we want to add our two add-ins of 5, 2, 4, 3, base 7, plus 6, 0, 6, 5, base 7. We identify each one of the add-ins by calling out the digits. I cannot say 5,243 because that refers to base 10. So we just name the digits. So because I'm a sixth grader, I already know that I can add my columns together. So I don't place the whole add-in, first add-in and then the second. Although if a child does need that additional step, you can modify the presentation. But first, we're going to start with a three and then we're going to add five more. One, two, three, four, exchange, and five. In my seven to the first, I'm going to put in four. One, two, three, four. And then I need to add six more. One, two, exchange, three, four, five, six. In my third, seven to the second power, I have two, one, two, and I have zero. In my seventh to the third power, I will have five, one, two, three, four, five, and I need to add six more, one, two, exchange, three, four, five, six. So my sum is now one, four, three, four, one, base seven. So the purpose of the multi-base bead frame is to not only add and subtract, but to be able to multiply. So if I want to multiply 5, 3, 2, 4, 6, base 7, times 3, base 7, I set up my multiplicand, just like I did on my flat bead frame, and I have my multiplier up here. This can be done two ways. Initially, the child can make 
a set of six three times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Taken once. One, exchange. Two, three, four, five, six. Taken twice. One, two, exchange. Three, four, five, six. Or, once the child becomes facile with using the multi feed frames in different bases, they can say six times three is 18. 18 in base seven is two, four. So let's continue building our sets. Set of four taken three times. One, two, three, four taken once. One, two, three, four taken twice. One, two, three, four taken three times. A set of two taken three times. Two taken once. Two taken twice. One exchange. Two taken three times. Set of three taken three times. Set of three taken once. Set of three taken twice. Set of three taken three times. And then finally a set of five taken three times. One, two, three, four, five taken once. One. Two, three, four, five taken twice. One, two, three, four, five taken three times. So the product is two, two, three, one, zero, four, base seven. So we can also use the multi-base bead frame to do a double digit multiplication problem in base seven. Again, we can build sets or the child can do their multiplication facts. One times four is four in base seven. Two times four is eight. Eight in base seven is one, one. Four times four is sixteen. Sixteen in base seven is two, two. Three times four is twelve. Twelve in base seven is one, five. And we need to exchange because we're out of beads. Five times four is 20. 20 in base seven is two, six. But that's just multiplying it by the first term. Now we can multiply it by the second term, and just like on our gold bead frame, all we have to do is move over our place values and we have our zero. If you want your children to write the first partial product and then multiply by the second digit to get the second partial product, feel free to do that. These are all the same steps that we use on the gold bead frame. So, three times zero is zero. Three times one is three. Three times two is six in base seven. One, two, three, four. Exchange. Five, six. Four times three is twelve. 12 in base 7 is 1, 5. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 in base 7 is 1, 2. 
5 times 3 is 15. 15 in base 7 is 2, 1. So my total product is 2, 5, 4, 6, 2, 4, 4, base 7.